Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Stonehearth. This is an early access game by um, some really cool developers and I've been watching it for a little while and up till this point there hasn't kind of been enough content for me to have a look at it but I made the plunge, I bought the game. So let's uh, let's check it out, this is the first time I've ever played it. I have spent a little bit of time, hang on, I'm just going to turn down the music a little bit. So it's quite epic and sweeping, isn't it? Yeah, anyway, uh, this is a city builder of sorts. Uh, we're going to go with a normal game. And uh, yeah, we're going to see how we go. So these, it, it's a little bit like Dwarf Fortress, insofar as you get an expedition and then you, you're thrown out in the wilderness and you've got to survive. It's not anywhere near as complicated. I think it's been uh, simplified a lot, so the concept is a lot more accessible. Which is um, kind of why I'm playing it. So, what do we got? We got uh, we got mind, body, and faith, or something. Spirit. Well, whatever. Uh, mind. The ability to think intelligently. A high mind stat allows a halfling to exceed in complex mental tasks. Influences diligence, curiosity, and inventiveness. Okay. Uh, body is for ex is for physical activities. Okay. And uh, faith. Uh, da, 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 befriend others and stand strong against enemies. Okay. Well, let's roll some new citizens. Let's just press it a couple of times for good luck. And I think that uh, that will go with. Yeah, I like it. Because they've all got pretty high faith, so hopefully they're friendly. Uh, we'll get the, the sword, because... Well, I don't know when the first mobs rock up, but I'm assuming that it'll be quickly, and I think... We can't afford the trapper's knife, so we'll go... Sh yeah, we'll definitely go for the farmer's hoe. Uh, because otherwise we won't be able to make any food. And that'll be less than ideal, that. So, let's let's go. Uh, now, this is the map, and we've got to choose somewhere to, uh, to disembark. I'm thinking this is actually a pretty good spot in here. I like it near the water, I think. We got a little bit of minerals, some wildlife, some trees and plants, a little bit of everything. Let's do it. Let's settle here. You can farm silkweed, okay, for a steady supply of thread fiber. Nice, okay. I think there's also influences of banished in this game because, uh, yeah, I. You, you'll set aside stockpiles and you know do different things and I did play a fair bit of Banish back in the day so I need to settle somewhere now these here that looks like stone to me we've got some plants, we've got some stone, we've got some trees and uh, there's a bit of a hill here which um, which could be a good thing so what we're going to do then is we're going to throw down well town square will be around about here uh so that's not a great name um west die die demo <laughs> yeah right okay let's um have a different name shall we Rationalville. I love it. Okay, so what do we got? Town info? Okay, these this is maybe we'll pause it. Pause the game. Uh, so we have this means something. Morale, food, shelter, safety, net worth, not very high. You know, inventory. So we've got a saw, a hoe, and a sword. Camp standard. Used to mark territory. Uh, chest of gold. Some decorations and a few resources. No general entries yet. So these are our citizens. The people that we've got. We've got Forstan, Daff, Linon, Marianne, Tulip, Doran, and Joe. Okay, so this is the harvest. Mine out tunnels and caves. Mined in individual blocks. Nice. Okay, so we can designate a, a stockpile. So we might do that right now. We'll go 10 by 16. Looks good to me. We'll do all of the stuff. I love it. And, uh, yeah. Now, I'm thinking the first thing that we'll do is... 
we will put down a farmer. And I don't think the farmer probably needs to be particularly special at all. So maybe Daff? Yeah, Daff it is. Daff, you're going to become our first farmer. Congratulations. So we have a farmer now. Yep. So press play. Two. Oh, okay, yep. Nice. So acquire as a farmer. Oh, there we go. He's picking up the uh, apprentice farmer. Nice. So we'll put down a few uh, a few crops. Okay, 11 by 11 is the max. Uh, fast growing, fast growing, but tasty it is not. No, okay, we do. Well, let, let's go with pumpkins. No, let's go with carrots. We'll do we'll do carrots as the first one. Um, and we'll actually we'll do it another one while we're going. Why not? But not particularly nutritious or hmm, slow growing corn. Maybe we go corn for the second one. All right. Now we also want to harvest some stuff. So click and drag. Click and drag. So we're going to harvest down some um, of the bushes, some of the stone. We'll get these bushes as well. So that'll get a bit of food going on. I like it. Um, we'll also grab a couple of trees. Now I want to designate another another stockpile zone. Okay, twenty twenty is the max. Now this is going to be uh, for raw resources only. So it's going to be for our wood, our stone, our minerals, our animal parts, <laughs> and also for plants. Now, if I click this one, I will turn off resources, so everything else will go over here in this smaller one. Just like that. Now, I've got a, a little bit going on now. What are these? Ooh, that's the silkweed that the, the intro was talking about. So let's harvest down a few more trees. So I want some space. Yep, that should be tons. Ooh, okay, that's that's rotate. We won't do that too often then. So now we've got We've got some food. Ooh, a grizzled traveller approaches. Here's something to get you started. Thanks, Mr. Burley Hands. We have two baskets of turnips. We'll take those. Here they are. Juicy and exciting. Yeah. So you can see that we're uh, starting to knock down this, and I think that actually we'll we'll harvest out to here. Harvest, harvest you, come on, can we? Okay, there we go. There should be enough space in there. Well, just, just in case there's not, we'll make another 20 by 20. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't want to do that. Can I not do that? Remove. Ah, there we go, cool. And this will be another one that's for resources only. Okay. So we've got that going on. Now what we need to do is, I think that uh, something else that we brought with us was the carpenter's saw. So I assume that, oh, let's, let's have a look at our, uh, I think it, six for mind, five, six, I think Doran is going to be our carpenter. So, Doran Stroden, you are officially the town carpenter. Congratulations. 
Oh, there he goes. So now, what we need to do... Oh, okay, no, not that. Um, where do we... Construct a ladder? No, I don't want to construct a ladder. I want to place down his little bench thing that I'm assuming we brought with it. Ah, here we go. Um, here we go, the carpenter's workshop. I don't know where I got that from, but um, we're going to put the carpenter's workshop near to the... near the stockpile, because I assume that you know, that will help us. Oh, there we go. So let's let's have a look here. So I'd like to um, craft one hoe right now. Uh, I have a wooden practice sword already. Ooh, for compactly... I could make some of those. Maybe I'll do that later. We have window boxes, ooh, for plants, a diamond window, a reinforced wooden door, or just a wooden door. We'll maintain one wooden door, I think. And we'll maintain a wooden window frame. Uh, we'll maintain two beds. Sounds good. When sitting, oh, okay. So that's that's pretty good. Oh, and he just leveled up. Awesome. Uh, and a wooden shield. Sure, make one of those. Because I believe that these these buildings require some things. There's no way of seeing. I think I make a shared sleeping quarters first. As we're nearly out of day for the first for the first day, but I think that we've got a fair bit done. But let's have a look here. What what's the worst that can happen? We'll place the um, sleeping quarters down. What did I press? I pressed something. I pressed the R key. Okay. I think they're okay. So let's let's try that again. Shared sleeping quarters. And actually, we want to we want to place it close to town centre. Here we go. Uh, finished editing. So we need 12 wood, ooh, four main beds, uh, some lanterns, and a couple of window frames. Now where did the lanterns go? And I need, I need four. How do we, so now I have six. Okay, there we go. Now we need... How many of these? We needed a couple of these. Four beds, two lanterns, a wooden door and five windows. Oh man. Oh look. They're, uh, they're having a little campfire. How cool is that? Now what other jobs have we got? Mason, Trapper, Weaver, Blacksmith. That's Cook. Oh, we could have a Cook. How good is that? Well, that might have to come later. Now, I believe it was five. Five windows that we needed. So I'll get rid of that. And I'll say we need to maintain five. 
So a door, four beds, something like that. We'll just check. Check that. Five of them, one of them, two of them. Yep. Build it. Yes, start building. Wonderful. Now, what I'd like to know is how do you post a screenshot? Let's just press random. Oh. Oh. I got rid of the GUI. Yep. The GUI's back. <laughs> Great news. The GUI's back. <laughs> oh, dear. Now, Doran, I think one of the next things we need you to build is um, a mason's chisel and hammer. So we'll build one of them. And uh, we'll also build a shepherd's crook. I think that that is um, all that we need to do for tonight until the next day. So we have a... We have some weapons available for when we need a, a soldier. See my little hearthlands building the foundations. Oh, they're going to build it up for us. How lovely is that? He's throwing a bed down. Oh, he's having a snooze. She's having a snooze. Oh, that one's tired as well. They're both having a nap. He's sleeping on the floor. Poor bugger. That's all right. Our town will become better. <laughs> Given time. Not edible yet. Ooh, these carrots are ripe. Well, that's going to be good. I wonder if I can place that inside of a building eventually. Oh, here's my daily update. So not quite enough food. Not quite enough... Yeah, okay. So to get another halfling, I need to do this. Hmm, sounds good to me. Oh, where did, where did the... Where'd the gooey go? The <laughs> it's back! Wonderful. Okay, so let's let's harvest this. Because that's free food by the looks of it. Ooh, there's a little bunny. Om nom nom. <laughs> now I'm thinking that the building will actually be finished first. So after they're finished building, that's when they'll go collect the stuff. I suppose that's okay. Well, I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope that you've uh, you've enjoyed this episode. If you'd like to see more of Stonehearth, uh, be sure to uh, let me know. I'm actually kind of enjoying this. Wait, back here. So this is, this is a little bit about um, Doran. You can see his experience is going up as he uses the. Uh, carpenter's saw and crafts more stuff. Oh, he's hungry. Oh, you can see they're all hungry. <laughs> How cool is that? Alright, I'm going to see you all very, very shortly for the next episode of Stonehearth.